Hi, somebody the other day asked me about how you move the body energetically without using the physical body, without using the physical muscles. And I said, well, that's the whole essence. Well, I shouldn't say the whole essence. A, bi a big piece of qigong is to learn how to master the energy in your body. And by doing that, part of it is letting the muscles go. So you use the energy the body can move and not the muscles. Now, it sounds quite strange to say that, but that's the, that's the key. It's like doing a tai chi form and your body moves and you're just watching your body moving energetically but there's no muscle, that, there's no tension in the muscle, there's just energy moving in your arms. We know we have energy in our arms since we're doing that. So, in some of the exercises, we're doing one today, where in our practice, in our class today, we were doing a, um, an exercise about how, where the energy starts, how does it start. And it's a particular exercise that's from five elements. And I'll stay with this exercise. And so the hand starts there. And it goes across and the, the foot turns and the hand comes up and you turn it around and palm faces to the back and you're looking at it under the arm and then you turn the, the foot back around and you keep bringing the arm across and goes down. Now the, the heel comes off the ground of that foot as it goes around, the heel comes down but you stay sliding. But now you don't change weight, you have double weighted on both feet and then turned back. Now if you look at this, most people, if you do this exercise, you'll do this muscular wise. You do muscles in your hips, muscles in your arms, muscles to get the body to move. But in Qigong, we're trying to do this without using any muscles. We're just going to get the energy to do it. And we're going to incorporate two things. We're going to incorporate gravity itself, because gravity is trying to pull my arm down at the moment. And if I let the arm go, it's just going to do that. Yeah, so gravity will do that by itself. I don't have to do anything. Gravity pulls it down by itself. So we're going to use that field, that energetic field, to move the arm. So as I stand, stand if I let the gravity and I just ride the gravity down, I'm going to use the gravitational energy. I'm going to use the energy as the hand, and I'm going to use it to turn my hips as well. So as it comes down, I'm going to turn my hip, and the hand's going to come up by itself. And from here, I'm going to relax and come back to the front, and it's going to go out to the side. And then gravity will pick it up again, and I'll swing it. Now, if I go slow, the Tai Chi exercise looks like, well, the Qigong exercise looks like this. this is the, let's say this is the water element exercise in five element Qigong. It looks like this is what if I go slow. Now all I'm doing is riding an energy wave that I've, I'm not even creating, I'm using an energy wave that's in my body that's not even mine. I'm just using it. But if I go fast, so I can show you what happens, I let the arm go and it does this. And then I turn back to the front. Let the arm go and it swings up and put, and that swing turns the body and comes up by itself. I don't have to do any of that, all I could do is let the arm go and I just follow the energy of that and turns me around. Yeah? Just turn it. So there's the, there's the pathway. How I turn it back is that the body is, by turning the body around, all the ligaments and tendons in your body, and, you're, and they're all twisted, and they all they will have elasticity, so they, 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 they're twisting like rubber bands. So if I turn them all around to the side there because of this movement has allowed me to, to spiral them up, if I twist them and go up, they're all twisting, and all I have to do is let them go, and they want to come back to the front again by themselves. Yeah? i say that again, I come to here, let them go, and they want to they come back by themselves. So the second part of the exercise, I don't do the second pace either. I use the gravity to get it up, I let my hips go, and it just swings it back round by itself. Comes up, let the hips go, comes back round. Let go. And the most important part of this whole exercise is that both of the whole exercise happens because of letting go and relaxing. If I relax the hand, pick up the energy of the gravity, relax the hand, come to there, relax the hips, and it comes back. Relax the hand, comes up, relax the hips, goes back. And that's how it's happening energetically. And so I don't have to do any of this, and if I slow it right down again, I just ride the wave of the gravity, comes up, ride the wave, and I ride the wave of the, the ligaments and tendons unwinding themselves in my hips. Gravity, pick up gravity again, pick up the unwinding of the hips. So I feel like a bit of a cheat because I don't have to do anything. The exercise is doing itself and I just get to watch myself moving and all I'm doing is controlling the wave of energy. And, I'm and how I'm controlling, I'm just controlling the speed that it's released. Because if I let it go, it'll go faster, it'll do this. But if I ride it, it goes like that. Yep. And I can ride it really slowly and just let it release really slowly and I can do it that way. All depends on how much energy I release at a time. There you go. So that's how you move the body without using the muscles. Well, it's one of the ways, and you can do this in every Qigong exercise. It's just about learning what drives the exercise itself. There you go.
Hopefully that's useful to you anyway. Cool. Cheers. Have a beautiful day, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.